Hello my friends and welcome to my tutorial. Today we are doing sky replacement. The image we are using is from Pixel. So type village into Pixel and pick this photo. Please resize and reposition to fit into the document page. As you can see, the sky is just too flat and unattractive. To replace the sky, let's cut out the foreground. So go to Pixel Persona. Pick the Smart Selection Brush tool, increase the pixel width and move it over the foreground to select the entire area. Tap Refine in the Context toolbar and use Refine Brush to refine the edges. Do this as many times as possible until all the pixels are selected, in particular at the edges. To see the selection more clearly, go to the black and white mode. With the foreground selected, clean up the edges with color white. Go back to overlay and tap apply to select the foreground. The next thing is to save the selection for a later use. Go to the channel studio and create a spare channel. Tap rename and give it a new name. Pick the selection brush again and press refine. Now select new layer in the output section to avoid some fringes at the edges of your selection and press apply. This will cut out the foreground into a new layer as a copy without destroying the original image. The next thing is to bring in the new sky. Type sunset into pixel and pick this image. Please resize and reposition to where it fits the composition. In the Effect Studio, highlight and tap on Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to about 7 pixel and I think the image is too saturated, therefore let's use Vibrance Adjustment to bring down the saturation to about negative 23%. It's now time to marry the two images together, tonal-wise. Go to Channel Studio and let's work on the RGB channels, one by one. Starting from the top, hide all colors except red. Note, we are matching the ground with the sky with focus on the highlight areas of the ground. Please note the difference in the tonal values of the two images in the red channels. The sky is lighter. So, to match the sky, we'll have to lighten the foreground. How? Add the curve adjustment and make sure it is clipped into the foreground layer. Select red in the channels and gradually move the node in the spline to lighten the image. Next, make only green visible and select green in the curved channel. However, note that there's little or no difference in the tonal values of the two images. The tones are matching already but let's just give it a little adjustment. Lastly make only blue visible and you can see the difference clearly. The foreground needs to be darkened. Now add exposure adjustment to create shadow from the sunlight. Set exposure to about negative 2.5. Add mask and invert mask in the channel studio.
Pick the paint brush, increase the brush size and set opacity to 100%, flow to 50%. Choose white color and start painting the shadow areas. Make sure to adjust the settings as you go. Now let's darken the mountain by duplicating the exposure layer. Pick the paintbrush tool again and set opacity to 100%, flow to 75%. Pick color black and start to remove shadow from other parts of the image. Now that the duplicate exposure is affecting the mountain alone, let's darken it. To make the composition realistic, let's add a light flare. Type light flare into Pixabay window and select the image. Resize and reposition. Add screen blend mode, reduce opacity to about 75%. With the eraser tool, remove the sharp edges. Group layers together and name as Sunset. Now let's bring in another image and use another method to replace the sky. Go to Channel Studio, tap on the saved selection and load to Pixel Selection. This would select the foreground again. Go to Pixel Persona, select the Smart Selection brush and tap Refine. 
Choose new layer in the output mode and tap apply to cut out the foreground. Type skies into the pixels window and pick the image. Resize and reposition the image. Send it to the back of the foreground. Reposition properly. Next, add white balance adjustment. Tap the balance and add some tint of blue by dragging the slider a little to the left. Also add brightness and contrast adjustment to brighten the images. Take the white balance adjustment layer and clip as a child layer to the foreground layer. Look at the difference. The new sky is too saturated, so let's pick vibrance adjustment. Clip the adjustment as a child layer to the sky layer. Tap on saturation and reduce it. Now, let's make the green to pop up a little. Add color balance adjustment and clip as another child layer to the foreground layer. Select the midtones and add a little cyan, green and yellow to the image. Also tap shadows and add a little cyan, green and yellow. Add mask to layer and invert it to limit the adjustment to the trees alone. Pick the paintbrush and brush over the trees to reveal the adjustment. This change looks strong, so let's reduce opacity to about 40%. See the difference. Group the layers together and name as Blue Sky. Now let's compare the original photo to the new one. The difference is clear.
please like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow the channel and be able to do more tutorials. Thank you for watching. Cheers.